My name is Frank Lee. My graduate honors project is a React website that shows the search and display of games from the Board Game Atlas API. Because I love playing board games, I wanted to create a site that modeled Board Game Geek, a site familiar to those in the hobby space. First, I have the home page here. I have the data displayed in varying column widths. The data shown here is a mix of my own data and data from the Board Game Atlas API. I don't have enough time to show this for every page, but I did strive to make each page responsive at smaller viewport sizes. Next is the Browse Game section, and this is the bulk of my project. The default load is of the top rated games. If you search for a game, it will load that data as it fetches the new search, and you also have the option to search by category. And in this case, I will be searching for Azul games in the abstract category. I will talk about this page in further detail when I talk about my challenges for the project. Next, the Atlas Forms is a replicate of the Browse game section, except instead of board games, it comprises of forms posted by the board game Atlas users. Next, is the color post and I already have it loaded here because it takes a little while to load. Um, it does not use an API and is all data that I've made up myself with the help of ChatGPT. I wanted to create an interface like Reddit with trending posts on top and popular posts as you keep scrolling down the page. If you click on an individual article, it will take you to that article and give you the option to go back to galore posts or back to the home page. The make a post section is a basic form to submit a new article, but it currently has no functionality as the submit button doesn't work and there's no verification of content here. This will probably be a future project of mine. And lastly, the help section is a basic FAQ and it's pretty boring in appearance as it hasn't been my top priority. And for my challenges, I'd like to go back to the Browse Game section. Um, and initially, I struggled with retrieving the API data because I wasn't confident in my asynchronous function skills. I also struggled with using the API itself. I didn't know how to set up the URL and how to do the searches, but I eventually figured it out through trial and error. For the name, I realized they had to set up the syntax like this, name equals input value, input value being what was entered in the search bar. And for categories, you have to search by the category ID instead of the category itself. As for the full length of data, this is probably the hardest to figure out because the API fetch call has a limit of 100 games per search. So for a game like Catan with 232 searches or 232 results, I needed to figure out a way of getting 232 while being limited by 100, 100 games searches with the fetch call. And the basic logic for this is I set up a while loop inside my asynchronous function and I have the while loop set to remain true as long as we're running fetch calls. I have the URL set up and we fetch the URL and convert that um, data to JSON format. Then I run this check data length function with a return promise. And I have it returning a promise because I want to keep running fetch calls until we reach the end of the data. And I define the end as being a length of less than 100 or us reaching an upper limit of 1,000. So for the case of Catan, we will first do a search for the first 100 games, then we'll receive a data length of 100. So we bypass this code and we come here, we increase the offset, then we repeat the search, keeping the result as false. So now we'll search from games 101 to 200, repeat it again, then we search for games 201 to 300, and at that point, we receive a length of 32. So now we compound all of our previous searches, resulting in a total length of 232. The resolve will be set to true. The promise will resolve as true. And we will continue on with this line of code. What I like most about my code is the setup of my components and the usage of use state and use effect everywhere. Thank you for viewing my project.